Hey friends, it's Tommy with Thrifty Girl Treasures and welcome in to Tuesday. I'm a day late. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm a day late. Um, I had a three day weekend and I just enjoyed sleeping in late. I went to the bins, the Goodwill bins on Saturday, but the other two days I slept in. So wanted to uh, introduce myself. My name is Tommy, T-O-M-M-Y-E, and yep, named after my daddy. And I am Thrifty Girl Treasures on eBay and a Thrifty Girl on Poshmark. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have it listed down below. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I do have a full-time job that I work every day from 7 to 3.30. <clears throat> I am considering making some changes. Well, the one thing I have to make a change on, and I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I hate my full-time job. I hate it. Um, I have, I was with my other company for 15 years and I, there was a lot of things I didn't like about them, but there was also a lot of really good things that I liked about my company. And I am not a person to get a full-time job and then leave with the exception of the last couple of years. And, um, it all stemmed from getting a divorce. Um, I did live in Idaho, Boise, Idaho with my dad. Um, and my sister lives up there too. And I had a, a really good job at a cancer clinic. Um, and I came back to Texas because I miss my daughter and my grandson and, um, you know, and my son-in-law too, of course, I miss them so much. And so came back to Texas and to get my divorce, I really thought I had really wanted to distance myself from my ex-husband. And that really was truly the goal was to distance myself from him. Um, but it's okay. He does live in the next couple of towns over. And um, really, I just hope I never run into him ever again. Sorry, got to take a sip of water. Uh, so also I want to say, um, and I'm going to keep this real short because, um, my daughter told me to keep my video short, but, um, on September the 11th, I have to have a tooth pulled and with my dad's help, he gave me the money to have the tooth pulled because I'm almost nearly out of pocket a thousand dollars and that hurts. And it's just me. I have no one to back me up. And then after that tooth is pulled, then I need braces really bad. Um, I do have an overbite. Um, so on the overbite, I can't really like just people take it for granted, like eating into an apple, uh, a slice of pizza, um, you know, a piece of bread. Um, I don't have a clean, a clean bite. So it puts a lot of stress back on here on the back teeth. And um, every time I go in for a cleaning, I have to have at least one side or both sides um, a shot of antibiotic into my gums. And I'm really trying to keep my teeth. <laughs> they're not pretty, but, you know, they're my teeth. And, and I, I know that when I age, I probably won't be able to afford dentures. So I'm trying to hang on to them. So I will need braces and, um, that's, that's an expense that will, you know, have to be out of pocket for me. Um, it seems like I get one loan pay down and then I have another one, but you know, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to strive for. Now, the next thing that I really want to talk about is, you know, every Saturday I go to the bins and every Saturday I spend at least a hundred dollars. And that's a lot of money in a month, especially for me, because it's just me. And my eBay and Poshmark was really to supplement my income and maybe to make a car payment or to help with the rent payment later on when I do move out. And 
my business has been really slow, really slow. So I need to make a decision to curtail my shopping um, and pick up things at the bins um, that I know are going to sell um, and not have a whole lot of inventory. It keeps me up. <laughs> it truly does keep me up at night. Um, so, and I have to have a storage unit because I don't want to take over my daughter and son-in-law's house. So I have to have a storage unit. So that's another added expense that I'm just barely breaking even. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I am. <clears throat> so a lot of changes have to be, uh, considered from here on out. And what <clears throat> that means, I probably will not be able to make a video every week. And I hate that, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. I got to do what's working for me. I got to do what's, um, healthy for me. What, you know, what's gonna, what's going to be in my best interest. Now, um, having said that, I do want to show you a bins haul that, um, I did go to the bins this Saturday. Um, I didn't get there till late. It was like noonish when I got there cause I slept in late. And that's okay because, you know, I got to do what I got to do. Mm. I'm so sorry. I have to take a drink of water, but my mouth is so dry. Oh, extremely dry. Now, the, the good thing healthy wise is trying to keep my mouth healthy. My teeth healthy is that my blood pressure is completely normal, um, even before medication. But I still take the medication. You can't just go cold turkey off of it. I know some people that do, but, um, you know, I keep a log every day. And when I see my PA again, I'll, I'm going to bring that up to her. All right, let's stop. I'm going to stop talking because I'm seven minutes in and I'm just chatty, 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 Kathy. All right. Um, in no particular order, I picked up some purses, some shoes. I picked up a pillow um, I did pick up two Calphalon pans and they are currently in the dishwasher because <laughs> my daughter has said, you know, mom, if those pans are in great shape, pick them up because we both love Calphalon and, um, the, the pans that I do pick up are in great condition. There's no, you know, the, the nonstick is not scraped off or anything like that. So we give them a good scrub down. And we use those pans every day. We love them. I love them. So, uh, yeah, so there's two pans, but I'm not going to show you that. All right. Again, in no particular order. So I picked up this, um, it's this big old pillow. <laughs> it's simply best blessed, <laughs> blessed. And I didn't know who it was until I got it home. And of course it's already done and I'm going to take the, it does zip off here and I will take this off and wash it. So I'm in a, I'm in a pillow phase. I love them, love them, love them. All right, let's look at purses. Um, I picked up this purse. This is one world by, uh, Brighton. And here is the tag, uh, the, the emblem and, he, um, she is dirty. She's got some, st uh, staining back here that does come off. I've already tried, but it's just a magnetic open. And then I stuffed her. She's got a pocket here and, uh, yeah, just a pocket here. And she, and then she has a pocket here. And then one on the back. So it is mainly a, um, a shoulder bag. Now, I think if you were, I'm five foot eight, so it would probably just be a shoulder. If I did want to carry it crossbody, it would probably, you know, come up a little higher than say if I was like five, four. So it just depends on the height. But yeah, this purse is in great condition. And it's, I believe it's vintage. Okay. I picked up this purse and I 
um, I just liked it. So I picked it up and let me just, um, let me just kind of straighten her out a little bit, but I never heard of this brand, um, before, which doesn't mean anything, you know, that's, that's nothing, but it's called prune P R U N E. And it does have some condition issues. And here is the, the bottom of the purse. There's no wear. Um, here is the inside of the purse. You've got a pocket here. And then you have a zip pocket here. And here is the name of the purse. Is that right? Is it? Oh no, I am so dumb. Oopsie. It's called Beho, B E I O. Oh, y'all. It's been a long day. I hate Mondays. Um, it's London, Paris, and New York. Okay. Maybe I. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the other ones that know there. I'm so sorry. But anyway, this is the purse. It is a true shoulder bag. And it's really nice. I mean, it's really in good condition. I did not run comps on this because you know what? Oops. And here's my thinking. <clears throat> when you pick it up at the bins, you know, it's literally, um, sorry. It's literally, you only get, you pay like $3. So if you ask 30 and you get 30 or even 40 for the bag, You've made a really good profit there. Okay. This next bag. <laughs> Here's the prune. <clears throat> Here's the prune bag. P-R-U-N-E. And yeah. Oh, let's see. Can you see that? Oh, sorry, y'all. I am having a day. Sorry about that. There it is. Okay. But I really liked it. I thought it was cute. And it is leather. It is kind of your, um, I think it's like a croc leather, alligator style. Um, the, the, but the zippers are like butter. <clears throat> Here's the inside. You have a zip pocket here. Here is the name of the bag. You have your middle pocket here that zips. And then you have the pocket here. Now, back in the day, that would have been for a cell phone. So you know that this purse is probably about 20 years old. You do have a pocket on the back. You do have pockets on the side that zip. They're not very deep. And then here is the bottom so it's it's in really good condition it's a cute little bag it looks like a doctor style bag it's kind of slouchy but it does it's um just really nice and i think that's black or probably a deep dark chocolate brown <clears throat> all right so this bag is a tote. Here's the the bottoms. Does need a good a good conditioning, and this bag is leather, and it is by Madewell. I don't know if y'all can see that. Anyway, made by Madewell. Um, the inside is really clean. Let's see, can I move this mirror over? Maybe it's really gloomy here today um, in South uh, Central Texas, and um, we're getting a lot of rain, which we really need. I love this bag so much. It reminds me of my sister. She loves to carry bags like that. <clears throat> okay. I picked up I picked up four of these shoehorns. They're all wood and I love them because number one, 
I do have these that I use, but um, for men's shoes, which I am selling a lot of men's shoes, um, I just think these will be uh, come in handier than trying to, um, you know, fit this foot in a size 10 or 13. <laughs> Or you, because I do pick up, I do pick up quite a bit of men's size 13s. Um, those seem to sell really well for me. All right, this next little thing that I'm going to show you is this. I just found it laying on the bottom of the bins, and I picked it up, and it says Gucci, made in Italy. Now I. I think this is real. Um, it certainly feels like leather. Um, here is the, um, the snap. Uh, a lot of people looked at it <laughs> with me at the bins, and one guy said it's 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 real. So um, I don't I don't know um, I don't I don't know what I would list this for. I've only sold Gucci once before, and that was. Um, two years ago and I found a Gucci bag vintage out at, at the Goodwill bins where I shop and it sold within three days so and I probably paid two dollars for it so and it sold for sold very well <clears throat> all right let's look at some shoes I picked these up because these are really nice pumps I like the gold trimming here along the edge here is the back of the shoes whoops gotta go um the they are in like new condition so these are jones new york these are not leather um they're a fabric upper they're size eight and a half m and the style name is Belden. but i love these they're very classic very very classic and this is non-slip so yeah, so pick these up, and I I really, really, really like them, and they're padded right here at the foot. The next pair is, these are Tory Burch. How cute are these? I love these. Now, they have some issues here and here, um, and I and up here. I hope it comes out. I haven't tried anything to clean them yet. Here's the back. Cute little bow. These are, or Kate Spade. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know, can you see it? It is so dark here. Um, these are size seven, Kate Spade. Oh, I'm just getting everything wrong today, and I apologize. Um, you know, I hate my... <laughs> Today's Tuesday. Have I said Monday? I am so sorry. Today's Monday for me. <laughs> anyway, you get the drift. Right? I hate it. Um, anyway, so I hope this comes out. You know, they are in good condition. I mean, like, what the heck happened? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay. These are so cute. I had to get these. These are women's size nine and a half WW that's wide width. So these are nine and a half. These are so stinking cute. They are comfort view. Um, it has an, a spot right here. Um, but that's, you know, hopefully that that will, you know, I, it, it'll either, I'll either pick it off or I will disclose it. You've got a spot over here and here, but the bottoms of these shoes are in like new condition. And there's the heel. And um, these are like a a gray a gray color with the black piping. Ah, there's my receipt. <laughs> oh, that's my receipt for a coat. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, I love these. I love them so much, but you know, y'all, I can't wear heels. But anyway, these are Vince Camuto. 
these are tall this is probably a four inch heel let's let's just see how much that heel is let me just um uh, oh four and a quarter three quarters whoa four and three quarter heel and then you have it probably would be beneficial if I would just, you know, put that down. So you've got a one inch or better uh, platform. So your heel, you know, be about three, three and a, three quarters. So these are Vince Camuto. These are size 10. I just love these. These are espadrilles. This looks like something that um, Kate Middleton used to wear back in the day. And she probably wore this, this heel height. Picked up the spinner. <laughs> I meant to tell my grandson, I picked up the spinner. <laughs> Who remembers that? Oh, we bought so many. Oh, y'all. We bought so many of those. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get into a couple of clothes. Since I'm just messing up all over the place on the shoes. <laughs> okay, this is a this is a town jacket by London Fog. Size extra large. It is like a bomber jacket. You've got your cuffed um, elastic band as well as down here at the bottom it does zip um i love this jacket i i really do love it it's in great condition um and you've got side pockets here yeah i love this jacket i hope it does good okay i picked this up it was a last minute a last minute grab somebody threw it back at the bins and I picked it up because number one I don't know anything about it but here's the maker it's Ula or you Ula pop pop you I hate the murder names I really pride myself on trying to pronounce people's names right but this is a beautiful caftan. Absolutely beautiful. Just like, you know, to wear around the house, you've got your slit there at the bottom. So again, I am 5'8", and it hits my ankles. So if you're just looking for something to throw over, you know, um, somebody comes to the door, and you're in your PJs, and you can't find your robe, or this is somewhere near you can just put that on i love that i love it, it has to be washed because the lady took a bath in perfume that's okay okay <laughs> okay i picked these up i don't pick up blue jeans um but you know what i'm a sucker i am such a sucker for embroidery and this has embroidery if these were my size i would be rocking these so this is called Gen 7 by For All, <clears throat> For All Seven Mankind. And um, I've, I've heard resellers pick this up. And um, so I did. I picked it up, Gen 7. And this is a size, I believe... 14 yes size 14 um but it is a it is a it, it's like an ankle pant so just those and then here's the back um and i feel so stupid i don't know who gen 7 is so um you know kind of feel dumb about that but anyway all right this is athleta size small this is really cute i love this so much and again totally wished it was my size 
the zipper is a side zipper as you can see and it is long waisted so it's like a tunic you have a zip a zip up pocket here on the side and uh, of course another one over here on this side so yeah i picked it up i just thought it was classy you know it's got the high collar or you can unzip it to open it so you know over your yoga pants or if you're working out and you just you know you need something over your workout uh clothes okay i gotta hurry i gotta hurry oh okay so this is cyrus this is a 3x <clears throat> This is for me. I love over oversized sweaters, pullovers. That's for me. This dress was given to me by um, one of the ladies that I'm a friend with out there. And okay, here it is. <laughs> here it is. I love this. I love it so much. Here it is. It's belted. And this is the name. And I don't know anything about it. Um, I hope it's not like from a cruise or something. But anyway, she gave it to me and I said I would list it. Oven mitts. Not listing them. <laughs> Okay, these are Michael Kors. These are the ballet flats. Love these. These are so, um, these are so cute. Here it is on the inside, Michael Kors. And these are a size looking, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the size. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Maybe there is no size. I don't know. Um, and it's not on the bottom. Okay, I'll have to measure. But anyway, pick these up. These are too cute. Love those. You do have a little bit of condition issues, which I'm just now seeing. So they may not get listed. All right. Um, this is Talbot's Woman, size X. It's just a button-up shirt which is probably kind of late and right to be listing it but it's just a cute little button up and there's the back and it's got front pockets but you know if you're living down in florida or along the the um you know the southern coast then you know you might you might still be picking up those uh, those garments okay this is vintage um, this shirt is vintage and I just noticed that one of the buttons is broken. I hope it won't matter. <laughs> I don't know. Reminds me of my grandma. <laughs> and it is by, um, Viva something. Viva City USA. Viva City USA. It is a hundred or it's an extra large. It is a hundred percent cotton made in the USA. And you gotta love that. I mean, really, you gotta love that. Um, Vineyard Vines, size large. This is a men's shirt. Pick that up. That would need to be washed. It smells a little musty. And this is Anthropo um, let's see. By Anthropology. Here it is. Right here. This is oh this is oversized. I could probably wear this. But here it is. It is, it's kind of difficult to show. But here's the sleeves. The sleeves go like that. So I will have to find stock photos um, of this 
because I that's kind of hard that's going to be hard to it'll go on the mannequin obviously but my mannequin does not have arms all right the next thing we have is jasmine rose signature this is a house coat <laughs> i don't know i was maybe having a granny day or something but anyway isn't it cute it's just so cute it reminds me of christmas i mean it's just so adorable you got your pockets right here it is a size medium and it does go all the way to the floor well it's a medium so it goes to the ankle <laughs> it goes to my ankle <laughs> oh gosh um, got this for me for my feet oh, my feet my feet my feet <laughs> Here's my leftover M&M's. Throw those away. Okay, this sweater is Deans of Scotland. And it is a 42. It's called Trooping the Color. I didn't even notice that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it, love it. And you've got your cuffs here. I just love this. Oh, I hope that does well. Okay, I picked this shirt up because I like the color. I really like the color. It's Riva, size medium. But isn't that, look at that color. I love this. Long sleeve, long sleeve, whoops, long sleeve. But look at the color. If this was my size, I would totally wear that. I'd wear it. Here is Ann Taylor, size 10. It, it is a, um, okay, let me button it real quickly so we can show it better. Okay, Ann Taylor. It is a long jacket, long sleeve. Here is the, um, kind of what it looks like. It's very long. It goes down to your knees. It does have a slit in the back. It's, it's very long. <laughs> and um, it is fully lined. And there are no tears. <laughs> so. Okay, now I feel rushed. <laughs> I'm feeling rushed. Okay, let me button up this one. I always say to myself, button up everything, button up everything. But, you know, when you realize it's Tuesday, you haven't made a video, and you're supposed to make one on Monday. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I love this jacket. This is a men's jacket. And you've got your um, suede-like patches here on the back. It's got your hound's tooth pattern. This is, oh, there's. This is by, okay, this is by Overland Sheepskin Company. Um, I don't know the size of it, but here is the inside, completely lined. This jacket is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I hope it does well. It is wool, but it's not the itchy, itchy kind of wool. Okay. Then the last thing we're going to look at is shoes. But y'all, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. I am so thankful I found it because Jack and Ryan, I don't know if you follow them. I follow them. I think they find this almost every time they go. And this is Dale of Norway. I almost passed out when I when I got this. I was like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh!" And I was trying to breathe, and you know, I was you know trying to act cool and and all that good stuff, and not let anybody you know think, "Oh, she's a retard. What's wrong with her?" You know. But um, yeah, so I picked this. I mean, I just I number one, I like the pattern. It's a size medium here is the sleeves 
here's the bag. It's got this button. It buttons up the front. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. So I can um, say that I found a Dale of Norway. All right, let's do some shoes. Um, I found these shoes. I love these shoes. I happen to love them so much. These are called Earthies, and I, I adore these shoes. They're different. Here's the bottom. Here's the heel. It just doesn't look like anyone has worn them very much. You've got your zip up in the back to put, to put them on. They are leather. They're an eight and a half B. And, um, yeah, so I, I love these shoes. They're just, they're beautiful. Put that one there. Then I found a pair of Cole Hans. These are, um, driving shoes. You've got your, uh, horse bit detail here. These are men's size 11 and a half medium. They are in great condition. Here's the back. And here, you know, this is called driving so that you don't mess up the back of your shoe when you're driving. But yeah, I love these. I love these shoes a lot. Stacy Adams. These are great shoes. You've got a square toe. Here's the bottoms. Here's the heel. These are a size, men's size 11. It is a leather upper. You just slip these on. And here is the elastic here. And then you've got this in the back. Um, these are well taken care of. Whoever owned these took care of those shoes. Next, we have a pair of, sorry, <laughs> booties. These are Clarks. I love these so much. I really like the distressing here. And uh, these are Clarks Indigo. And the size is, oh, here it is. It is a size eight. It is a leather upper. And there's the bottom. Love them. I picked these up. I hardly ever find this brand of shoes. These are called ASOS. It's just a cute little wedge. Um, sandal. Here's the bottom. They do need a clean. Here's the, um, the edges. Uh, the heels, rather. Uh, let's see what these are. This are size, um, well, it says six and a half, but where did I find, where did I find, I don't think they're six and a half. It couldn't be. Um, I don't know. These certainly don't, they, they don't look like a six and a half. They look like they're, I don't know. I have to do some more research on that. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Okay. These are in like new condition. These are another pair of Clarks. I love these. If this were my size, I would have kept them. But here's the bottom. Here's the bottom. <laughs> They're in light, they're in new condition. The tag is still on them. <clears throat> These are a women's size. These are women's size eight. And then you have, this is a good loop right there. So yeah, I love those. Because so I'm all over the, the, the screen. Okay, this is a last minute pickup too. And I just thought these were so original. These are sandals. These are um obviously there's they are 
oh, it drives me crazy when I do that. I love these. I love them so much. I like the heel. It's rounded. And so these are called Arch, A-R-C-H-E. And they're size 41, so I think that's about a nine and a half. Um, but yeah, I, I love them. It's hook and loop clothes, but here's the top. So yeah, I love them. These are Birkies, Birkenstocks. Um, they are women's size seven, men's size five. They're in great condition. I hope they do well because... It is hit and miss with me on Birkenstocks. All right, Ann Klein. I carried one of these around forever. <laughs> I just love them. I love the heel. I just, I love them. It's got a little bit of a platform. It reminded me of the 80s. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, these are a size 9. It is a texture upper, so they um, they have a, it's almost like a suede-like feel, but it is just a fabric upper. Uh, and then here is the heels in great condition. Here's the bottom in great condition. Okay, the last pair of shoes, and they're men's shoes, and one doesn't have the lace. But anyway, I'm going to show you real quick. They're like boats. J. Crew. I love these so much. These are in like new condition. These shoes have hardly been worn. There is no uh, lace up here. Somebody probably took it out and didn't put it back. These are men's size 12. These are your Oxford shoes. They kind of remind me of a Florsheim type of shoe. So, yeah. All right, everybody. Oh, that's it. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> and this is a long video. I am so sorry. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, Steph. Because <laughs> she said, Mom, don't make a long video. Okay, enough talking. I am so glad you stopped by today. I am so glad you stopped by today. Um, please hit that like button and hit that bell for all notifications so that you'll know when I post a video. Uh, it does help support my channel, and it's truly, truly appreciated in every way. Um, I I love making these videos. I I know sometimes I sound a little silly and uneducated, um, but it's just you know the fun of it all. So y'all have yourself a great week, and remember when you shop at a thrift store, you help save the planet. Bye, everybody.